and swim every ocean just to be with you and fix what I've broken. Cause I need you to see that you are the reason. For 
you're never alone. For the God on the mountain is still God in the valley. When things go wrong, He'll make them right. Still God in the night You talk of faith When you're up on the mountain But talk comes so easy When life's at its best Now it's down in the valley Trials and temptations That's where your faith Is really put to the test For the God on the mountain Is still God in the valley When things go We will be making a start in about five minutes' time.
miss your voice, miss your smile, everything about you worth the while. Always wondering where you are. I hope you're with us, near or far. get into the funeral service so we ask persons who are already here with us to begin taking their seats on the inside let's get settled down as we get ready to make a start And we start off our tribute segment 
with a special rendition entitled He Understands My Tears. And this special rendition will be done by Miss Henia Maffer. understands our tears. But we are gathered here this afternoon to remember this special lady, this lady that impacted upon our lives in one way or the other at some point in time to cause us to feel saddened by the loss of her presence amongst us. 
We continue by inviting Mr. Stanley Napoleon to come forward to deliver the eulogy. Mr. Napoleon. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I must say today is more of a, a day of celebration rather of sadness because my grandmother was more somebody you could remember who was always happy rather than sad. So we associate today with more of just a celebration of a life rather than the sadness and the tears that we normally associate with being at a funeral. All right, so today I'm going to just speak a few words about the person we knew as me, knowing her as a grandmother, some who knew, knew her as a mother, and somebody we know in our community. Miss Ifa to many, Mama to some, Mum to others, Pharisee to a few, was a wonderful soul. Among many things, she loved gardening. She loved cooking, taking part in La Rose. She was the North Lawas, listening to and dancing country and western, helping at the slaughterhouse at Christmas time and making farwin and cassav in the platin at her birthplace in Angers. Mama was a jack of all trades. You should see how she climbed the wall at the back of her house with her bad knee just to get some water to water her garden or to pick seaweed to make jam to sell. The children loved to come over to buy jam, chenet, or anything mama made to sell on her porch. Oh, how she would make some good local fruit wine and coconut oil. Mama, where are you? We would call out when we reach, at, reached her house. Look me! I in the garden, she would cry out. As you walked around to the back of the house, you would find her bent over a small box with soil which housed a few rows of chives next to that which would, she would have some spinach, some lettuce growing in a small space, a tomato and an okra plant in another corner, and a few other vegetables cramped in a small space. Her garden was small yet immaculate, without weeds and green and luscious. Miss Ifa had a green, green thumb, blessed hands. All she planted bore in abundance. The plantain trees were forever falling over at the weight of the large plantains. The dashings and the burnja were huge. She, the avocado tree bore until the branches hung over and broke. Mama would always be calling over friends and families to come to get some of her provisions and, of her, and her vegetables. If they could not come, she would cut up the various fruits, vegetables, and ground provisions and store them in her freezer. Huh. You had to be careful when you open that freezer because stuff could just go falling out. Frozen plantain, okra, you name it, Mama had it in her freezer. Miss Ifa was a phenomenal cook. Many who attended the Monrepo combined would have tasted, enjoyed, and loved her food. There are some who would sneak in the back just to ask her for some more. Y'all know who y'all are. She ensured that all the children at, at the school ate and she would put a little extra in each plate, even if you did not pay for your meal. Some say the teachers even rushed the children to be first on the line to get food from Misifa. Mama was known for her famous rose bake and her soup pad beef, a dish she loved making on special occasions, like on Mother's Day and for New Year's. She would call all her children and their family and friends to come over to enjoy that soup. However, there was one caveat. Never come on an empty stomach. Regardless what time mama started making the soup, 
And what time you arrived at a house, the stoop was still on fire. But guess what? It was worth, with, it was worth the wait. A crowd of Mizimun always waiting patiently for that famous soup pad there. Miss Ifa was very personable. She loved people and was warm and welcoming to others. She was a great friend, the kind of friend who stood by you no matter what the circumstances. Most importantly, many were wel welcoming of her because of her loving and charitable personality. Mama loved to give. She gave and she gave and gave until she could not give no more. Miss Ifa would be present to support her friends and families at funerals, wakes, whenever they were sick at their homes, she would make time to visit. Even if she had a bad knee or her bad knee was acting up, Mama was on the move, no matter how far she had to go. Pharisee, upaka wete lakayo. She never bothered to think how of, about how far she would have to go or how she'd get back home. All she thought about was where she was going and she always made it safely back home. Mama was pivotal, pivotal in helping her children and grandchildren with starting their lives and gaining careers that made her proud. Miss Ifa was the best grandmother and, we, and will remain just that. A pillar in this community one who lived a simple life. She will be sorely missed. Some took time to say a few, a few lines. Auntie Ifa was a sunflower that never went to sleep. From dawn till nighttime, she was on her feet. Her energy was as bright as a sunny day. She was full of jokes and laughter, always cooking delicious foods, having mouth-watering fruits and snacks hidden somewhere in a foil or a napkin. We knew that as grandchildren because we used to look for the foil. She had a huge heart of love, was caring, love sharing, imbued in community and cultural spirit, and had this joy to teach about our local heritage. Also, she made it her mission to emphasize life skills and for spiritual principles, especially on how to pray, how to live a positive life, treat others good, and most of all, how to respect yourself and others. Mom, the lady I love, admired, and was devoted to. This commitment and strength of love from a single parent are unmatched by any other. And without any hesitation, it can only come from one person on earth. I think about the woman who gave birth to me. Yes, she was the most wonderful person on the face of the earth. And that one person was, is, and will always be my mother, Misifa. The kitchen was the center of our family. The sacrifices she had to endure for our survival are imprinted in my memory. It may be painful to reminisce the past, but Mama, your mode of operation sometimes made me wonder why. Nevertheless, I am who I am because of you. Grandma, I never wanted to see you cry or to see you in pain. It breaks my heart to see you gone like this. With our experiences you taught me, that will always be cherished. Your great grandkids may never understand, but I will remember the legacy of your life and its meaning. You were the best grandma I knew. The fondest memory of this remarkable lady is the kisses she always smoldered me with every time, I, every time she saw me. She taught me the importance of having a good time. The family reunions will always be treasured. She was the impetus of survival. Wow, what a woman. I will surely miss you, mom. But rest assured, your daughter remains in good hands. I can still envision her reciting her religious rituals 
specifically as she recited the, prayers, the prayer of St. Francis of Assisi. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. Here, here was just your temporary home, mom. Go rest high on the mountain. Your work on this earth is done. The community of Monipo, children, grand, grand and great-grandchildren of Mama, relatives, friends, and loved ones of Misifa. Money can be squandered and house and property ruined, but what we inherited from her cannot be damaged, destroyed, or lost. It is permanent, and it keeps her from becoming just a wonderful memory. It allows her in so many ways to remain just as alive as always alive through us. For your wisdom, your courage, your humor, tenderness, and compassion, your understanding, your patience, and your love. Thank you, Misifa, Mama, Mom. After you, the mold was indeed broken. Thank you so much. We love you and we'll always miss you. Rest in peace. Thank you very much. Thank you so very much, Mr. Shanley Napoleon, for sharing with us some insights into the lives and times of Miss Mary Ifa Napoleon. Most of the memories that you shared here with us this afternoon are so on point. Two of them that resonated with me having been the teachers competing with the students at Monipo Combine School for the delicacies that Miss Ifa prepared in that kitchen. And also, um, Miss Ifa having been the very first person who taught me to dance country and western, I remember vividly many, many, many moons ago at the residence of Miss Chris May in Shantytown, Viewfort one of the many family celebrations, Miss Ifa taking me upon her feet and teaching me to dance country and western. So again, thank you very much, Mr. Napoleon, for these memories. We continue with our tributes by inviting Miss Alanis James to do a special song in tribute, a song entitled No More Nights. And mm -hmm. 
continue by inviting Mr. Reno Napoleon and company to do a family song tribute to Missy. again over there on heaven's shining shore there are no more to separate we'll sing around the throne i wonder if the family circle will all get times of adversity, in times of mourning, our hearts become troubled and a lot of doubts cross our mind and we begin to wonder many things, wondering if the family circle is ever going to be the same. But we've been taught that if we truly believe in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and we follow him, not only will we see our dead ones again, but we'll be reunited in that special place that he has gone ahead to prepare for us. At this time, we've come to the end of our tribute segment. We will now officially start off the funeral mass in memory 
of Marie Ifa Napoleon. We will now focus our attention at the entrance of the church where the priests will bless the body as we commence the service. Could the chantwell of the Monipolaro's group or the representatives stand by? Hello check, one, two. Hello check, one, two. Shall we all please stand? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. I bless the body of Mary Napoleon with the holy water. That recalls of her baptism, of which St. Paul writes, All of us who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death. By baptism into his death, we are all buried together with him, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live a new life. For if we have been united with him by likeness to his death, so shall we be united with him by likeness to his resurrection. On the day of her baptism, Marie Napoleon put on Christ. The day of Christ's coming, may she be clothed with the glory. We'll now join in our entrance hymn, being led by the Chateau of the Monipool Arrows group, of which Miss Ifa was a part of.
Let us pray. O oh God, Almighty Father, our faith professes that your Son died and rose again. Mercifully grant that through this mystery your servant, Mary Napoleon, who has fallen asleep in Christ, may rejoice to rise again through him who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. You may be seated. The first reading, a reading from the Book of Wisdom, chapter 4, verses 7 through to 15. The virtuous man, though he die before his time, will find rest. Length of days is not what makes age honorable, nor number of years the true measure of life. Understanding, this is man's gray hairs. Untarnished life, this is ripe old age. He has sought to please God, so God has loved him. As he was living among sinners, he has been taken up. He has been carried off so that evil may not wrap his understanding or treachery seduce his soul. For the fascination of evil throws good things into the shade, and the whirlwind of desire corrupts the simple heart. Coming to perfection, in so short a while, he achieved a long life, his soul being pleasing to the Lord. He has taken him quickly from the wickedness around him, yet people look on, uncomprehending. It does not enter their heads that grace and mercy await the chosen of the Lord and protection, his holy ones. The word of the Lord. In response to the reading, we sing, The Lord is my shepherd.
the second reading, a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians, chapter 4, verse 14 to 18. We want to be quite certain, brothers, about those who have died, to make sure that you do not grieve about them, like the other people who have no hope. We believe that Jesus died and rose again, and that it will be the same for those who have died in Jesus. God will bring, God will bring them with him. We can tell you this from the Lord's own teaching, that any of us who are left alive until the Lord's coming will, will not have any advantage over those who have died. At the trumpet of God, the voice of the archangel will call out the command, and the Lord himself will come down from heaven. Those who have died in Christ will be the first to rise, and then those of us who are still alive will be taken up in the clouds together with them to meet the Lord in the air. So we shall stay with the Lord forever. With such thoughts as these should, should comfort one another. The word of the Lord. Let's all stand to acclaim the gospel of the Lord. I am the living bread which has come down from heaven, says the Lord. Anyone who eats this bread will live forever. The Lord be with you. And your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the crowd, I am the living bread which has come down from heaven. Anyone who eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I shall give is my flesh for the life of the world. Then the Jews started to argue with one another, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? They said. Jesus replied, I tell you most solemnly, If you do not eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you will not have life in you. Anyone who does eat my flesh and drink my blood has eternal life, and I shall raise him up on the last day. For my flesh is real food and my blood is real drink. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood lives in me and I live in him. As I who am sent by the living Father myself draw life from the Father. So whoever eats me will draw life from me. This is the bread came down from heaven. Not like the bread our ancestors ate, they are dead. But anyone who eats this bread will live forever. The Gospel of the Lord. God is good all the time. 
My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today we have come to give farewell to our sister, Marie Napoleon. I would like to express my condolences, the message of sympathy to the family, the sons, daughters, grandchildren, as you grieve the loss of your mother, your grandmother, aunt, and friend. As she was a member of the Club 60 as well as the, uh, the La Rose cultural group. Mary Napoleon, I had known her for last this many years I stayed in this parish. I have known her well the day she introduced herself to me. From the time I have known her, she is a very lively person. And she makes every effort to be in church. The last time she was in church, I think it's for New Year or for the Epiphany of the Lord. You know, usually people make an effort to come. And the last time she was in church, she was sitting by the door and she couldn't put her foot down. And she asked something to put her foot. I looked at her and I gave her a block. The block was there at the, at the back of the church. I just put your foot on this block. And she said, ah, this looks better for me. And she put the foot high. Because she said, maybe, you know, as she is getting old, I told her, I teased her. As you're getting old, you have no blood coming down in your foot. Yeah, you, what you say is true, Father. What you say is true. And that's what Mary said. At the time, I went to see her while she in the house. I went to give her communion. And all, she is a lively person as I know her. And what impressed, uh, very impressive of her is every, f the love that she had for church and for mass. I remember her, she offering masses for her birthday. She would want it particularly and sometimes she would come and talk to me very nicely because and she tell me, you know, Father, my birthday is coming. So I want to do mass for me on, on Sunday, not a weekday. Because I tell her, no, I can do, no, 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 it's a weekday, I cannot come. I can only come on Sunday, so you do Mass for me on Sunday. Well, I say, okay, for you, I will do it, no problem. And that's the person. So today, she's not with us. But you know, as we have heard today's readings, you know, the first reading, uh, the souls are virtuous in the hands of God. The no trouble shall ever touch them. And today, the second reading, Either we live or we die, and as you know, when the time comes and the angel's trumpet sounds, those who have died before and gone before us will be judged first, and those who are al alive. And therefore, we all will be judged, we all will be taken to God. With these words, let us comfort one another. And that is the words that we have heard today. You know, usually people celebrating birthdays, you know, they celebrate 40th birthday, they say, Life begins at 40. And I used to wonder to myself, what will you be doing until 40? If life begins 40. Well, in a way it is true. Because when you're 40, then you have, like every year that you go on from then on, like you reach 50, then every 10 years is a bonus. You'd be 50, then 60 is a bonus. Then when you reach 60, then every year is a bonus. Then as you reach 70, then every month is a bonus. And as you reach 80, every week is a bonus. After you reach 80, then every day is a bonus. It means as we get older, we need to get closer to God. Because our time here on earth, as we heard it in the eulogy, our brother said, you are not with us, but you, are, you have gone to the mountains. That's what the eulogy said. It. So now, you know, we need to say, like as we say, life 40, begins as 40. You know, as I said, Marie Napoleon, was, she was very happy and lively. And all she wanted every time is her church, her church, her church. That's what all she was. And uh, she loved to be. I remember one time she came, it was her birthday, and she told me, give me a hug. Then I gave her a hug for her birthday. 
you know, well, now we call on that time. You cannot even give a hug now. You have to stay far away. So keep the protocols, right? So all that she lived her life, she was, apart from getting old, all she told me sometimes, you feeling sick? No, I'm not feeling sick. I'm old, you know, here aching me, and here is aching me, and all these aches I have. And that's what was her problem. But you know, my dear brothers and sisters, the Lord had blessed her for 81 years of life. Amen? Amen. And she, I would say, the children of her took a good care of her. And she was happy in her house. Last time I went to the house, was it was Ubald who was in the house. All the time I see Ubal, I say, Ubal, when are you coming to church? And I'll tell him, you know, I tell him, maybe you may come to church maybe for next baptism. Until then you will not come to church. Then you'll say, I will be there, I will be there next Sunday. So Ubal always say, you know, I have my mother to take care of. And he and his garage, you know, Ubal was. And he was taking a good care of his mother. Though he had all the siblings, you were all providing for him, and he was staying with the mother. I think he's the last one, right? So the last one stays always in the house. So you siblings left him to stay in the house, right? And he took a good care of his mother. The last time I saw Ubal was at uh, Agnes. I just finished praying for Agnes, Susanna's mother. Then Ubal came. Then Ubal said, my mom is not doing well, father. And he, his, his eyes almost tears rolled down. It's difficult. As siblings, you have been out with your families and you have been taking care of your mother. It would be hard for Ubal now as he goes back after burying his mother. When he goes back to his home, he will be like left alone. It will be hard, but he will overcome. Because Ubal is, is, is a cheerful guy. He will be able to overcome these hardships. Even though this passing of your mother, your grandmother, is saddens, but you shall be comforted. She lived a happy, genuine, honest life. Not only with you all around, even with her own God. Like today this gospel said, I am the living bread has come down from heaven. Anyone who eats this bread will live forever. And you live in me and I live in you. And I will draw life. As I draw life from the Father, you will also have to draw life from me. What amazing words. And what all that happened in the life of our sister, Marie Napoleon, is what what for her was the church. The church and the Eucharist gave her life. You provided for her. As children, you cared for her. But the strength she draw is from the Eucharist, from the Word of God, and from the body and blood of Christ. And that is what the reading tells us. And as Jesus said, you ate manna, your ancestors ate, and they had died. If you eat my body, you will live forever. That we pray her faith that she had in her God. Marie Napoleon, she stabilized, she lived with all aches and pain and sickness, loneliness, trouble, that she could not be like she was as we getting as she got older. Of course, this will happen to us also as we get older. We would not be able to go as we went when we are young. So may God, you know, as we see this time, and she is not with us anymore, let us look back her life, what, what God blessed her with. And we need to always give this praise and thanks to God. Like today the response to real psalm, we sang, and we know this song, every one of us, the Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. He leads me to green pastures, and the staff and crooks, he leads me. 
And this is the song, the psalm that brings us a complete surrender and trust in God. Because our God is the Lord who guides and leads us. And she believed in that. You know, my dear brothers and sisters, now only I wonder, as our young, as our older people, grown-ups are saying goodbye one by one, the faith that they had, do we see that faith now in this modern world? Which will going to be a problem, not only for Catholics, it's for every religion. Could be either Pentecostal or Church of God or Jehovah Witness. For everyone, the grown-ups have had the faith. And today as a young generation coming up, that God and faith and prayer how are we looking at journeying towards? And see, your mother, your grandmother was a faithful woman. She believed in her God. She believed, she loved her church. She loved, she needed prayers and she prayed. If you want to draw anything from this, from your mother or your grandmother is, that's the faith that she had in God. That, that love she had for the church and the, and the perseverance she had in praying, in offering praise. And as I said, your mother always was very glad to offer a mass for her birthday, not only herself, for her children. And she was believing in praying. Today your mother is not with you, but may she be with God the Father in heaven. Because she believed in him. And therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, family of Napoleon, may you be comforted and strengthened. Your mother was a gift for you this lifetime. Let us draw some inspiration from her life and draw that, that joy, though she is not with you, but she is in a better place and may she be granted eternal life and you be comforted and consoled. And may God be with you to guide you further in your life. But one thing, remember, your mother was a God-fearing woman. Learn as well from her to be a God-fearing men and women and children. May God bless you. May God grant her eternal life. Eternal life grant unto her, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her. May her soul and the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. You know, we need to be a little more understanding when we come to church. It does not mean you don't come into church, you want to stand outside and talk. We should have a kind of charity that we don't talk. It's very disrespectful. Very disrespectful. That's not good at all, at all. Okay, let's all stand and do our prayers. After each prayers, our response is Those who have been in prayers, please come forward. No, it's okay. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the church. We thank you for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Bishop Robert, all the bishops, priests, everyone who bring the message of resurrection. Lord, we pray that the message of resurrection be a comfort for us. We pray to the Lord.
Lord, today as we bid farewell to our sister, Mary Napoleon, Lord, we thank you all that you provided for her in this earthly life. All the perseverance and the gift of faith that you gave her. And the gift of baptism, you received her into one, this one holy Catholic church. And you nurtured her. We pray, Lord, we thank you for your protection that you gave her in this earthly life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we pray for Mary Napoleon. Lord, in your mercy and compassion, you are the giver of life, human and divine. Lord, bless our sister, the faith she had in you, O Lord. Grant her the eternal life. In the company of saints and angels, we pray to the Lord. Lord, we pray for the family who grieve the loss of their mother, grandmother. Lord, be their comfort and strength and give them to draw life and inspiration from, her, from their mother's and the grandmother's life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we pray at this time, this pandemic, as many get infected with this virus, and knowing the uncertainty of the life, Lord, be you be the healer, Lord. Cure us and protect us from this pandemic. And we also pray for all those who are dying of this pandemic, suddenly, unexpectedly giving shock to us. Lord, be a comfort and comfort those families who grieve their loss. Lord, be a support to your people all over the world at this time. We pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, you are the bread that come down from heaven. Anyone who eats this bread will live forever. We have a sister who was nurtured by this bread all the time she came to church. Lord, may she be nurtured for the eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for having listened to our prayers. With childlike confidence, O Lord, we offered our prayers and our aspirations and our desires. Hear our prayers and answer us. Be a source of comfort for us, O Lord, and for the family. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. We'll now have our collection. And during this time, we turn to page three of the program as we join in singing, The Sun is Shining Brightly. Is the man by 
As we take our gifts to the altar of the Lord, we uh, sing our offertory hymn, Tutsanuni. Sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Please stand. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant, Marie Napoleon, we beseech your mercy that she who did not doubt your son to be a loving saviour may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, in Him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim.
Brazil. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed. And he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Mary Napoleon, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, her spouse and Joseph with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coherent to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to sing.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Say the word and my soul shall be healed. My dear brothers and sisters, your kind attention due to COVID protocols, please keep the protocols. If you're coming for communion, 
the Holy Communion will be given in your hands. You have to receive appropriately with respect and reverence. Thank you. During communion, we sing, Yahweh, I know you are near, can be found on the center page of the leaflet. Stand for the post communion prayer. 
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that your servant, Mary Napoleon, who has journeyed from this world, may by this sacrifice be cleansed and freed from sin, and so receive the everlasting joys of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. You may be seated. Could the following four witnesses join Father at the table for the signing of the register? Renaud Napoleon, Patrick Napoleon, Ernest Napoleon, and Anastasia Napoleon. And during the signing of the register, we sing All I Ask of You. Get ready for the final commendation. Father will be blessing the body of Mary Ifa Napoleon. Immediately thereafter, immediate family members, only the immediate family members will gather near the coffin, keeping protocols in mind. And we will do our song. You know, keeping the COVID protocols. Only the sons and daughters can come around because it's a huge family. Okay? Not now. We'll call you. Sorry about that. Please stand. 
With faith in Jesus Christ, we reverently bring the body of our sister Marie Napoleon to be buried in the human imperfection. Let's pray with confidence to God who gives life to all things that he will raise up this mortal body to the perfection and the company of the saints. May God give her a merciful judgment and forgive all her sins. May Christ the Good Shepherd lead her safely home to be at peace with God our Father. And may he be forever, she be forever with all the saints in the presence of the eternal King. I watched the sunrise light in the sky as we reach shadows near And on this morning, bright though it be I felt the shadows near me But you are always close to me Following all my ways May I be always close to you Following all your ways, Lord I watch the sunlight shine through the clouds Warming the earth below And at the meeting, right things to say, I feel your brightness near me. Always close to me, following all my way. Hear me always close to you. Following all your ways, Lord. Watch the moonlight that in the night, waiting till morning comes. In the silence, earth is at rest, only a friend is near. Yes, you are always close to me, following all my way. May I be always close to you, following all your ways, Lord. Our response is receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Saints of God, come to her aid, come to meet her angels of the Lord. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. May Christ who called you take you to himself. May angels lead you to Abraham's side. Give her eternal rest, O Lord, and may your light shine on her forever. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Father, into your hands we commend our sister Mary Napoleon with her. We are confident that with all who have died in Christ, she will be raised to life on the last day. And live with Christ forever. We thank you for all the blessings you gave her in this life to show your fatherly care for all of us and the fellowship which is ours with the saints in Jesus Christ. Lord, hear our prayer, welcome our sister Mary to paradise and help us to comfort each other with the assurance of our faith until we all meet in Christ to be with you and with our sister forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Mary Napoleon, may the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. Let us pray. 
Lord Jesus Christ, by three days you lay in the tomb. You made holy the graves of all who believe in you. And even though they, their bodies lie in the earth, they trust they like you will rise again. Give our sister Mary peaceful rest in the grave where she is going to be laid to rest. Until that day when you, the resurrection, the life, will raise her up in glory. Then may she see the light of your presence, Lord Jesus, in the kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. Since Almighty God has called our sister Mary, Napoleon, from this life to himself, we commit her body to the earth from which it was made. Christ was the first to rise from the dead, and we know that he will raise up this, our mortal bodies, to be like his in glory. We commend our sister Mary Napoleon to the Lord. May the Lord receive her into his peace and raise her body on the last day. Let us pray. Lord, listen to our prayers for our sister Mary. As she always decides to do your will, so your Lord, in your mercy, forgive whatever wrong she may have done. By her Christian faith, she was united with your believing people, now in love and mercy. Give her a place with your angels and saints. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto our Lord. And let perpetual light shine upon her. Let your light shine upon her. May the soul and the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Amen. And as we get ready to take our dear sister to a place of rest at the Dairy Soul Cemetery, we invite the Chantel of the Morning Polaris group to lead us in our recession of him. Vive la rose! Vive la rose encore! Harry is the beauty! Harry is the beauty! Harry is the beauty of rose! Harry is the beauty, Harry is the beauty, Harry is the beauty of rules. Harry is the beauty, Harry is the beauty, Harry is the beauty of rose. Harry is the beauty, Harry is the beauty, Harry is the beauty of rose. I am the beauty, you are the beauty, Harry is the beauty of rose. I am the beauty. Some comfort here. So tired of the straight line. I can't feel at home in this world I have a loving mother just
just over in glory land And I don't expect to stop until I shake her hand She's waiting now for me, for me in heaven's open door And I can't feel at home in this world anymore Oh Lord, you know I have no friend like you If heaven's not my home, then Lord, what will I do? The angels beckon me from heaven's open door And I can't feel at home in this world anymore Just over in glory land We'll live eternally The saints on every hand Are shouting victory Their songs of sweetest praise Drip back from heaven's shore And I can't feel at home In this world anymore Oh Lord you know I have no friend like you If heaven's not my home Then Lord what will I do The angels beckon me From heaven's open door And I can't feel at home In this world anymore
older I get, the more I think you only get a minute. Better live while you're in it, 'cause it's gone in a blink. And the older I get, the truer it is. It's the people you love, not the money and stuff. Président la hausse. Je ne sais pas. Je ne sais pas. Je ne sais pas.
Ola 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 